My name is Julien Meyer. I was from first in uh, engineering and acoustics and then I went back to university after working a while to study language. I'm a researcher in both linguistics and acoustics and I approach language with different tools of different domains like bioacoustics, psycholinguistics, cognitive science in general and uh, linguistics of course. So my speciality is studying the adaptation of speech to either extreme conditions or natural conditions of communication uh, and uh, one of the subjects I have developed a lot was uh, whistle speech, for example. The idea of whistle speech is that in several countries and several languages, people whistle when they need to communicate from far. When I was in Brazil, I was working at this time with languages which have developed uh, the adaptation of normal speech to whistling for long distance communication in the forest to be hidden from animals for example or from other tribes in past uh, times when there were uh, confrontations between popu lo local populations. I study now Siberian Yupik language and also Tamazigh language from Berber region and these two languages have in common to have been not fully described in terms of uh, articulation, in terms of uh, whistled adaptation of their system, in terms of prosody also, which is the music of the language. In Saken, hasta la vista. And so I uh, work with some uh, informants that I met on the field and then uh, I, I eventually invite them to the laboratory to complete the collection of data in a more controlled environment. When I was in Brazil, I looked for grants that would help me to come back in Europe and work with colleagues that I had before and uh, who could help me to develop the analysis of the data that I had collected on the field. As a researcher, what I value most is to be able to collaborate with, the, with I would say, people who are very qualified, passionate, and who, who can be friends also. This Marie Curie co-founder areas fellowship ma uh, helped me to do that. So it provided me a good environment uh, the possibility of mobility and of collaboration with the uh, highly qualified researchers of Europe. If you study whistle speech, you can uh, get inspired from the specificities you find in it and try to see what it brings either in the history of the evolution of language but also in the possibilities we have now in the city to understand language in noisy environments, in uh, interaction with multimedia, things like that.